you know, what we're doing is helping to also break that, that myth of, you know, a monolithic community, right? We are communities, we are many communities, right? We have connections with each other, but there are also very unique experiences that we all have as queer people of color, depending on our social context, our social uh, location, and the strengths and assets that, that we can acknowledge and, and use to kind of advance ourselves forward. And that idea of self-care, right? Especially for grad students who might have additional pressures and might be seen as more uh, a worker as opposed to a student and might have those pressures of having to kind of feel like they have to put on that face to keep things together, which we know just kind of keeps uh, the pressures kind of the pressure cooker brewing, right? right? Um, and those uh, issues aren't able to kind of be processed. Um, so, in, you know, the accumulation of trauma is, is really important to acknowledge. I think what we're doing in this in this community conversation is also offering you know, a lot of consciousness raising where we're offering um, language to kind of make sense of these experiences which is in and of itself an intervention um, that we can use towards healing 